so here's how to properly perform the burpee. I'm gonna show you two options. I'm gonna start with version one, which is gonna be the more challenging version, all right? You're gonna start from a standing position. From here, you're gonna put your hands down on the ground. You're gonna jump your feet back and lower your chest and thighs to the floor. Now, this is a key element of that. I want your chest and thighs to touch. From here, it is not a push-up. You're simply just gonna get up off the ground, jump your feet up to your hands, and jump and touch over your head. All right, that would be one. So here's two, hands go down, kick my feet back, chest and thighs to the floor, jump my feet up to my hands. Now notice where I'm landing here, through my heels, jump and touch over my head. One more full speed. All right, now, a couple things have happened. I want you to make sure you're standing up all the way at the top, or standing up all the way and jumping and touching those hands over your head. That way, your body comes up all the way. All right, another thing to keep in mind is this is what I do not want to see in the burpee, right? This is going to hurt the knee joints, all right? Going down and jumping up here, all right, and land on our toes. I see that from a lot of people who have some flexibility issues in their hips and hamstrings. One thing to keep in mind, I'm going to show it the correct way here one more time, is doing it with your heels landing in the floor, almost in a partial squat. And heels stick to the floor, up and overhead. All right, so here is option two for the burpee. All right, this is gonna be a modified version. Here at CrossFit, we realize that everybody is at a different fitness level, so we have multiple variations of each movement to suit different people at different levels of their fitness. So option two of the burpee is just gonna take out the part where you go from here all the way down to the floor. All right, so here is option two. You're gonna start standing, hands go down. I'm gonna step my legs back to this proper and supported push-up position where my core is stable. And I'm gonna step up, step up, and then jump and touch over my head in the same way. So, one more time. Hands go down to push-up position. My core is tight, my hips are up. I step, I step, I jump and touch overhead. Here's one full speed. All right, and it takes a little bit of that movement out. We have to go down and up. Now, what I want you to keep in mind on this version, all right, are my hips. So I want you to keep your hips supported the whole time. So I'm gonna show you one from a side view. I'm gonna go down. Here's what I do not want to see. Do not let your hips drop like this. Notice you can see my core is no longer supported. I want your hips up nice and tall, nice tight core. Step, step, nothing touch. Now, also important to keep in mind that you alternate legs that you're stepping back with and stepping up with. That way you're using both sides of your body. 